Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome is a chromosomal anomaly in which a female is born with one X chromosome. So this is a chromosomal. is a chromosomal anomaly in female born with one X chromosome. Okay, so individuals with monosomy of sex chromosome are said to have Turner syndrome, exhibits a female phenotype, but their gonads are non developed, leading to the development of fibrous or streak ovaries. Okay, so this is a monosomy. Okay, you must remember that most of the monosomic embryo are aborted or undergo miscarriage. Okay, about 1% of monosomy X female survive. Okay, so what are the causes of Turner syndrome? Okay, causes of Turner Syndrome. Turner syndrome. This is due to fault, faulty gametogenesis. Faulty gametogenesis. Genesis. There is faulty development of the sperm or the ovum okay and also faulty division division of cells after fertilization fertilization We, we call them as the non disjunction. Okay. And Turner syndrome was first described by Dr. Henry Turner in 1938. So it was described by Dr. Henry Turner in 1938. So, what is the karyotype of a patient of Turner syndrome? Okay. Karyotype. Most common karyotype is 45X, around 50% cases. We may have 46 XX T minus, 46 XX Q minus. We may have mosaic like 45 X slash 46 XX. We may have isochromosome, ring chromosome. That is also possible. Incidence of Turner syndrome is about 1 in 3,000 female, okay, incidence, incidence is 1 in 3,000 female has Turner syndrome, okay, we got that, so we got incidence, so what are the clinical features of Turner syndrome? Clinical features. Clinical 
regions. We look at that image, uh, the image here. We have low set. We well, first of all we have sharp scales. Okay. Okay. Low set. We can say it low hairline. Low hair line okay we have low set here low set here we may have some we may have some other problem in the ear okay low set here we have high arch Here, most important point here, weight neck, weight neck, and in childhood we may get cystic hygroma, hygroma in the neck, the side of the neck, and from that we may get weight neck. Okay, we we'll get multiple pigmentation, multiple navy, multiple navy, okay, and lack of secondary sexual characteristics, lack of secondary, lack of secondary sexual characteristics sexual characteristics okay we got that lack of secondary sexual characteristics so if you look at the chest shield like chest with widely separated breast nipples okay shield like chest with widely separated nipple, the breast. Okay. We'll get that. And certainly we'll have we'll have history of history of Primary amenorrhea, amenorrhea, history of primary amenorrhea, okay, and history of no menarche, no menarche. The card will say she never had any menstruation. Okay, there is primary amenorrhea without any menarche. There is the first menstruation is called menarche. Okay, we got that. The clinical features. And we will get large carrying angle of the elbow. Large carrying angle. Angle of elbow we call it cubitus vulgus okay this angle is large between the arm and the forearm between the arm and forearm angle is large okay we got the clinical features outside and some history now we'll go Inside the thorax, we get corporation of aorta, and we get bicuspid aortic valve. Okay, so this is the heart, 
is the left ventricle and our aorta comes out of that and there may be quartz on the aorta okay usually it is pre-ductal pre-ductal that means proximal to the ligamentum arteriosum we can say proximal to the ductus arteriosus to the intra life the ductus arteriosus it is pre-ductal quartus from the aorta after birth it becomes the ligamentum arteriosum okay so we got problem in the heart most likely it is it is one of the common feature mm, we may get horse shoe shaped kidney horse shoe horse shoe shaped kidney okay so two kidney come together they fuse and form a horseshoe shape and then the ureter ureter goes down go to the bladder okay this is the horseshoe shaped kidney okay and we may have pelvic kidney and a patient of Turner syndrome are prone to develop UTI urinary tract infection okay and in the external fissure we have to also remember that always there is chance of lymphatic obstruction in the upper limb lower limb and there are more chance to develop obesity a certain percentage okay so inside we may get quarters on the aorta or shoe shaped kidney and we get the the streak ovary streak ovary that is ovary is fibrous looks like the ovary of a postmenopausal woman and this girl has no menstruation anytime and her ovary without follicle without ova so this is a case of primary amenorrhea there is no menstruation in most cases so we can call menopause before Menarche. That means without menstruation, menopause, men, menopause has been established because ovum uh, will disappear, disappear during the early intrauterine life, during the intrauterine life in the first two years of life because of lack of X chromosome. Okay. Lack of X chromosome causes all this problem and short stature is caused by the lack of one X chromosome. Okay, we got that. We have to find out some other association with Turner syndrome. Some other association with Turner syndrome. Associated condition. Okay. What may be associated problems in a patient of Turner syndrome? We might have hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism. Maybe there may be chance of insulin resistance. There will be altered glucose tolerance test. Okay. So this may be associated with Turner syndrome. We don't know the exact cause of these problems. Maybe some type of antibody work against the against the thyroid or maybe against the against the insulin receptors okay so that may happen so these are the associated problems with that of the Turner syndrome okay so if we go to the 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 IQ of this patient usually IQ is 
normal iq is is normal okay and they are not mentally retarded not mentally retarded but retarded but but certain percentage of terminal patient may have visual motor disturbance visual motor disturbance okay there may be decreased perception that may be possible in certain percentage of Turner patient and Turner patient are uh, they may survive many years without any problem like other normal individuals but if they die usually they die from heart failure or okay. cause of cause of death in most cases heart failure heart failure is the cause of death why this happened because of coarctation of the aorta there may be chance of left ventricular hypertrophy heart failure may happen due to coarctation of the aorta okay so that is associated with again we have to go emphasize on coarctation of aorta aorta in coarctation of the aorta we have hypertension of the upper extremity hypotension of the lower extremity okay and certainly we just discuss aorta has some narrowing okay narrowing of the aorta so there may be chance of left ventricular hypertrophy and differential hypertension differential hypertension hypertension that means high blood pressure in the brachial artery low blood pressure in the popliteal artery or limb arteries okay so we got that cause of death and the importance of coarctation of the aorta in this patient workup what workup will do workup to diagnose turner patient certainly we'll get the history from the patient and we have to do chest x-ray ECG okay to do ultrasonography of the abdomen ultrasonography of the abdomen to find out the horseshoe shaped kidney and the streak ovary okay we will do some test to identify the endocrine function like we must assess growth hormone and follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone is usually high because there is no follicle in the ovary so the anterior pituitary will release a lot of follicle stimulating hormone okay growth hormone may be normal but still the girl is shorter because of lack of X chromosome okay we got that the workup okay then after diagnosis and certainly in our workup we we'll always put more emphasis on karyotyping okay for karyotyping it may be done in the fetus we can do the amniotic fluids study amniotic fluid study that is okay or we can do chorionic villus biopsy chorionic villus biopsy so we can assess even we can assess cystic hygroma by ultrasonography okay after birth we can study the wbc for karyotyping like lymphocyte karyotyping 
will stimulate the cell to go through mitosis like by phytoglutinin. Then we suspend the cell division at metaphase by colchicin. We find out the chromosomes and we assess the chromosomes. Okay, so you can do that and you can diagnose Turner syndrome. Once we diagnose, then what should be the treatment or management? Management is because she is short, she needs growth hormone. And growth hormone may increase the height around 3 to 5 centimeter by 2 years. Okay, we need hormone replacement therapy. Replacement therapy that will help to build up secondary sexual characteristic plus it may start menstruation. Okay, and you have to remember that we need genetic counseling and this girl is most unlikely to become pregnant except in rare cases like less chromosomal problem, mosaic. So we need in vitro fertilization, in vitro fertilization or assisted reproduction. Okay. So that's all about the Turner syndrome. If you like my video, please hit the button, subscribe my channel, please share the information with your friends. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, fine.